Hi everyone, um, this is so exciting. Uh, yeah, first, first masterclass. Um, just wanna get settled in really quickly. Let me start sharing my screen. Okay, perfect. So welcome to the Mindset Masterclass. Um, I'm Alex, if you haven't already met me on my socials. Uh, yeah, I'm Alex, I am 22 years old. I'm a uni student and also a coach. So yeah, thank you for being here. Um, it's really exciting. Um, just a quick, if I'm looking down, it's because I've got notes on my phone. So um, yeah, if I'm looking down here, it's because I just don't wanna miss anything for this class, so. Super excited that you're here and listening. Um, let's just quickly run through some house rules. Um, so yeah, these rules are for everyone and last indefinitely. <clears throat> so this place is a vault and anything shared is not yours to share anywhere else online or offline. So if, yeah, either the content or anything anyone says, it's not for you to share. Um, as you probably already know, you've probably been in a masterclass before and you know the, you know the drill. So. Yeah, number two, judgments and projections are not welcome. This is a safe container for everyone. So I want everyone to feel safe. I want everyone to feel they can share stuff in this container. And yeah, that everyone knows that your own projections, the things that you haven't dealt with are not for you to share with other people. Um, privacy, yeah, privacy is so important. So um, please do all you can to protect it. So if you see anything in this that you think shouldn't be shared, just don't share it. Um, Number four, take everything said with the best assumption and take what lands, leave what doesn't. So if you hear something that I'm saying and you're like, absolutely not, that does not work for me. That's not aligned to me. That's not anything I believe in. That's fine. Just leave it. It's not for you to, it's not for you to take then. Um, and yeah, if it lands, really try and implement it, really try and integrate it and come back to it. It might take once, it might take twice, it might take three times for you to really settle into what it is we're talking about today. And then number five, most important to me, be vulnerable, be open and be attentive. Be here, be present. There is no point in you paying for this and coming to sit here for you to sit on your phone scrolling whilst not listening to me, <laughs> um, listening to other people. So yeah, I think it's just really important that for you to get out of this as much as possible, you need to be here and present. Um, and yeah, vulnerable and open, just think that anything you hear today if it applies to you it does if it doesn't it's not for you um and just make sure that you're willing to act on what we talk about today so you're not just wasting your time being here so yeah those are the house rules okay so let's get into it what we will cover in this session um so it'll be a tool for you to learn and relearn if you've already kind of been in the mindset world um yeah relearn what a mindset is how it can impact your life and ways to improve on your own mindset to benefit you and your goals and your life. So that's really important to me that you can take away from this ways that you can improve if you need to. <laughs> um, and everyone needs to. So yeah, um, let's go into it straight away. So what is mindset? And I thought it was really important to just take a little like screenshot of the Google definition. So mindset, the established set of attitudes held by someone. So to me, mindset is so much more than just attitude. And I guess attitude encompasses a whole bunch of things. But for me right now, and what I believe in mindset and how mindset plays out, it plays out everywhere. So it will play out in your behavior. It will play out in your emotional state, how you react to things, how you share things, the way you work with other people, the way you talk to other people, the way you navigate your relationship, your mindset impacts absolutely everything because it is your mind, it is your thoughts, it is the patterns and behaviors and attitudes, yeah, that you take through your life. So, yeah. Okay. The fixed mindset. So, for me, the characteristics of a fixed mindset 
uh, a little typo there, didn't mean to <laughs> look characteristics as capital. The characteristics are their negative, limiting, judgmental, insecure, comfortable, familiar, safe, fixed, unchangeable. There's a limit on the amount you can have or how much you can do. So clearly negative is something negative. You're thinking, I can't, I won't, I'm not good enough, I can't do this thing. Limiting, you're putting a barrier on what it is you can achieve. Judgmental, all of your projections, things that trigger you, that you put onto other people, the things where you think, oh, I don't like that she's doing that. I don't like that he's doing that. For why? <laughs> why is it that you're automatically going there? Is it because you think you can't do it? So then someone else isn't allowed to? Something to think on. You're insecure generally being that you feel that it's it's not for you. Whatever it is, it's not for you. You can't do it. You can't access it. You can't reach it. You can't attain it or maintain it. If you've got it, you can't keep it. And what I mean by comfortable is that you put yourself in that box. Same with familiar, same with safety. You make yourself confined to that thing. You are safe here because there's nothing challenging you. There's nothing pushing you. There's nothing that you can move past, move through, move ahead of. You're just comfortable. You're safe. You're, you know what? you know what's coming you know what to expect you know how to navigate and deal with it it's it's not expanding you and it's fixed in terms of it's so easy if you're in this mindset to never change it and you can see this probably in people around you you can probably already think of people that are this exact mindset it might be someone close to you it might be a friend it might be a co-worker it might be whoever Someone in your life you know has definitely got this mindset. Even if it's you, it could be you as well. You could be floating between mindsets. But what's really important to know here is that these things sound like this. I can only get on C a C on my maths paper. I'm not smart enough to get an A. I'm not enough. I won't be able to win, win the race. I won't even try. I'm not driven enough to reach my goals, my career goals, any kind of goal. I'll stay wherever I can get a job first. There's no reason to push for more. I won't find a partner, I'm not thin enough. I'm not beautiful enough. I'm not confident enough. I am not something enough. And I just want you to think quickly, which of these, and if none of these apply to you, which of your own that you can think of, do you relate to most? I'm not smart enough. I won't even try the thing because I'm scared of the result. I'll stay here in this position for as long as they let me because I don't want to change it. I don't want to risk being uncomfortable. I don't want to risk not feeling safe. I don't want to risk change. I'm not thin enough. I'm not beautiful enough. I'm not confident enough. I'm not something enough. Which one of those or whichever you can think of, do you find you relate to most? I'll just let you sit with that quickly. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just looking through my notes quickly and I just wanna drop in to say um, something I've missed that which one am I going to? <laughs> um, yeah, something about perceptions really is that the perceptions you have of yourself and the world change dramatically when you have this mindset and they change dramatically when you have a growth mindset. The way you react to things, so let's take the first one, for example, your teacher, your lecturer, whoever, your boss hands you a piece of paper to say you've not got where you wanted to get you've got a C on your paper you've not put enough detail into this thing whatever it is is your automatic assumption to go I'm not smart enough I can't do it I just give up like I'll just ask them if they can take me off the project I'll just ask if I can drop down a set so I don't have to do the hard papers anymore I'll just I won't even try 
is like automatic perception that automatically if you've been told mm, you didn't really get it this time is your automatic yeah i'm not doing it anymore that's too much for me i can't no 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 Yeah, so with a fixed mindset, the way you react to things, the way you react in your emotions, the way you consider other people and their emotions, it's completely different to what it is in a growth mindset. In a fixed mindset, you have an argument with your partner and you think, that's it. This relationship's over. I am not good enough. I can't handle this. I can't da 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 da. You know the repetitive narrative that you can tell yourself well, as soon as there comes up any kind of barrier to tell you oh you could improve on this a little bit oh don't want any part of it I'm getting out of here I don't feel safe anymore I feel like I have to change which is scary I want to get out of here and I just wanted to quickly talk about this one so one thing that definitely me being in a fixed mindset was in school, specifically in PE class. And anyone that went to school with me would absolutely vouch for me when I say this. My actual statement, my actual thing that I used to <laughs> be known for is when I was put into a team in any kind of sport, I would make my team agree to lose. How terrible is that? <laughs> oh God, it's embarrassing to say it now, but you know, these things happen. I would genuinely say to whoever I was on a team with, shall we just agree that we're just, we barely give any effort. Like if we lose, we lose. If we win, it'll be a, like, it'll be a nice surprise. How like, how limiting is that? How negative is that? I wouldn't even give myself the chance to be competitive. I wouldn't give myself the chance for the challenge. I wouldn't give myself the chance to perform and do well because I would automatically, as soon as I was put in that group, turn to my teammates and go, should we just agree to lose? Should we just all agree that like, we don't really care that much and let's just like not really do anything. I don't wanna, I don't wanna excel. I don't wanna put any effort in. Let's just agree to lose. Let's just agree to give up already before we even start the game. Let's agree to just not. Like it really is that confronting when you think about it. How many times have you agreed to lose on something? Let's go to the next one, actually. Yeah. Skip ahead of it. Yeah. I just wanted to ask you this question. I thought it was important. Where are you putting a limit on yourself for no reason other than your doubts? So there is no evidence whatsoever that you can't do the thing except your own doubts. Think your habits, your career, your relationship, your self-expression, whatever it is. And I want you to really sit with that for a second. Journal it, put it in the comments, whatever. And here I'm giving you permission to be seen. Be vulnerable, be open, like we talked about at the start. Take out as much of this as you put in. So yeah, where are you putting a limit on yourself for no reason other than your own doubts? Okay. And I want to move on quickly to the growth mindset. Because obviously, everyone has experienced the negative mindset, the fixed limiting mindset at some point in their life. But I feel like most of you probably will have experienced some portions of the growth mindset, if not all of it. And with a growth mindset, you can begin to see the world with a more, much more generous, kind and accepting perspective. Like we said before, the way you perceive things with your mindset completely changes how you view everything. So the characteristics of a growth mindset, the positive, you can lift yourself up, you're limitless. And more, more specifically, your potential is uncapped. You don't feel like there's a limit to what you can do, what you can achieve, 
what you can be there's no limit as long as you put your mind to it as long as you work hard as long as you believe that you can you're limitless you're generous you take other people's behavior generously if someone's an asshole to you in the street you're probably going to think wow that person's having a really bad day you're going you're to be upset like there's nothing to say you can't be upset you're human if someone's an asshole to you in the street you're going to be upset about it but you can also take it with the most generous assumption that that person is hurting that person is sad that person just wanted to relieve some anger and unfortunately you were the person that had to just suffer that for a second but also in a growth mindset you can leave that you can be aware enough to know okay that wasn't that wasn't great I'm hurt by it but I'm just going to leave it there because it's absolutely nothing to do with me that was just an angry person and I happened to be in their way as they perceived you're less reactive same with that example you're not going to stand there and cuss that person out in the street because you know that you've done nothing wrong and they're a weirdo for even reacting like that <laughs> and you're uncomfortable and I mean this in the sense of not you can't ever be comfortable again if you have a growth mindset it's that you're willing to push yourself out of your comfort zone you don't want to be in a box anymore you don't want to exist as other people tell you to you want to push yourself push yourself and change you accept challenges willingly if someone says oh like can you do this with me? I know you've never done it before, but you want to try? You're willing to be uncomfortable and try. Which relates to being expanded, to being stretched. Sometimes it's uncomfortable to be stretched. Taking that extra class that you know, mm, it's going to be a hard class, but if I put in the work, I know I'm going to enjoy it. It's taking that promotion knowing, yes, I'm going to have some extra responsibility, but the work and the impact I'm going to get to have on my business, on my career, on my family, because I'll get that extra bit of money that I need, da 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 You're being stretched. You're being expanded. But it's worth it. You're growing. You're progressive. You're on a constant momentum. You're flexible. You have a higher self-esteem because you know, I can't do it yet. Yet being the keyword. I'm not the smartest in the room yet. I can work on that. I have the ability to do that. And you know your worth. You know that you're an amazing fucking person <laughs> and that you can do things and you can be things and you can achieve things. Nothing is limiting you in that. And you also don't accept less than your worth. If someone's treating you like shit, pack it up, get out. <laughs> out of my energy, out of my space. No, you don't accept it because you know your worth. So that relates to, I will apply for, my, for that job. I need the challenge. I want it. I'll make that grade go from a C to an A. Because I am smart and I can work hard. That is for me. And it's for me to choose. Okay, another question. Where are you allowing yourself to grow and expand? So yeah, journal, whatever. Where are you allowing yourself to grow and expand? And the allowing piece in that is really important. You're giving yourself permission to do that. No one's telling you, you, you are allowing yourself to do that. And then from that, where do you believe in yourself unconditionally? You know you've got your back in this. You know you believe it. No one can tell you any different. I've got this. I can do this. I can achieve this. I can be this. Okay. So... Unconscious beliefs. So the belief you hold subconsciously 
can impact your emotions, your decision making, your perspective. I've said this before, but unconscious now. The things that you just let lie that you don't think about day to day, the things that just impact your decision making, but you don't even realize. So has there been a time when someone in your life told you that you couldn't do something? Think what that is for a second. Did you follow their limiting perspective? Something they put on you? And did you put a barrier on yourself because of it? Pop in the comments or channel it down, whichever feels comfortable. Did you allow someone else's projection of their insecurities to put, for you to put a barrier on yourself? Well, if they can't do it, I don't think I can. If my sister didn't go to university, I don't think I can do it. If my parents didn't get that kind of job, I don't think I could, yeah, I'm not, I'm not built for it. I wasn't born doing that, being that. And I want to just add in quickly. Yeah, <laughs> just funny. But yeah, I just want to add in quickly that there was a time, how many years ago was it now? 2017, I think. Yeah, 2017. I was in first year of A-levels. So I was in a college. First year of A-levels, I did Oh, four A-level subjects and in one of them my chemistry subject oh actually it dates you even further back to this I'm just I'm bringing out myself again it was actually in my year 11 you know those like taste of day things you can do between finding your options and blah, 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 for college so yeah it was done I went to this classroom I spoke to the chemistry professor the head of chemistry and I told him my grades that I was getting predicted I hadn't even got these grades yet they were predicted for my GCSEs and I told him oh well I'm kind of I'm getting C's right now but hopefully I'll get a B overall like it's it's a bit up in the air but we're aiming for a B and he looked at me and he went that's not good enough if you're not already making A's or A stars then there's no point trying to take my class because you won't make it and I was with my mom at the time and she was fuming. She was absolutely fuming. There was a random man that had never met me before within 10 minutes of meeting me and told me that I wasn't going to make it in his class because my predicted grades that I hadn't even got yet were about a B, not an A or an A star like he wanted. Fast forward, I ended up getting a B, I think. I worked really hard for it. That's another story for another time. But um. Yeah, I got into his class. I was in his specific class in chemistry. So there were about four or five different chemistry teachers. And I ended up having him, the one that told me I could not make it in his class, I ended up having him as my lecturer for chemistry in my first year. Our first parents' evening, because at this college you still had like one or two parents' evenings a year just to sort of put you on track. And at my first parents' evening, he... I went in the room and he went <sighs> and he sat me down and I was already struggling in his class can you probably guess why and he said to my mom she's got no hope of being a doctor and that was my aim at the time I was going into medicine I'd been I'd viewed medical schools it'd been my goal for years that was where I wanted to be and he looked at my mom and said she's not she's not cut out for it she won't pass my class. She won't get the grades she needs. There's, she might as well look at another, another field because it's not going to be medicine. She won't make it. And bear in mind, this man had known me for maybe two months, eight weeks, seven weeks, something like that. It was ridiculously early into the term. I think we'd had one or two tests. That was it. And he'd sat there and said, yeah, this goal that she's had and been working towards for the last six years of her life. Oh, sorry, hiccup. <laughs> this goal she's had for the last six years of her life. Yeah, she's not gonna, she's not gonna make it. She's not gonna do it. She can't. 
she doesn't have it in her she's not predetermined for that kind of success she won't make it and guess what I let that stupid racist man because yeah that's another story too he was kind of racist this stupid racist sexist man put in my brain that I wouldn't make it and there was no point trying I wasn't going to get anywhere with it I wasn't going to make it I wasn't going to do it it just I didn't have it already so I can never I can never progress to that I let him tell me that and I put that barrier on myself I put that limiting belief on myself that I can never do it and I, I stuck by it for years and looking back on it now the only reason I couldn't pass that class is because of the unconscious belief I had that I would not make it so there was no point trying and it wasn't until I was tutored by an absolutely amazing angel that my personal tutor set me up with she was incredible. She was a medical student. She was in the exact same position as me. She was failing chemistry in my position, but I wasn't at that point. This is more towards the end of like actually taking my exams. And she was tutoring me. And the only reason I went into that exam hall was because I had her belief that I could do it. And yes, I didn't actually get a good grade, but again, that belief that I couldn't do it and that I wouldn't make it was instilled in me for so long that I didn't even try. I didn't put in enough effort. I didn't put in enough hard work to get there. And I told myself day in, day out, there's no point even trying because you already know that you're not good enough. You're not smart enough. You don't know enough. You're not intelligent enough. You're not going to do this. So why even bother? Why waste your time? Don't bother studying. Don't bother doing the things you need to do to make your grades. It's crazy what, you can allow other people to put on you in their projections, in their thoughts. But now, I want you to write down a time where someone told you that you could do it, that they believed in you even when you didn't believe in yourself or if you did believe in yourself. But the key point is that someone told you that you could do it. Did you make it happen? Let me know. And did you really make it happen because they said it? Or was it because you had an unconscious belief that you could do it, compounded with their belief in you that you could kind of jump onto and you made it happen? And to say, if the only thing you can think of that it didn't happen, you didn't make it happen, then again, refer to the point above. Was there still a non-conscious barrier there that you couldn't do it? Even with you borrowing someone else's belief in you. It might not have been enough and that's okay. It's not always going to be. Sometimes you need to wholeheartedly believe it yourself in order to make any progress. And I just want to put in now, looking at my notes, let your own unconscious beliefs from your own mind, what you think another person believe of you and what other people actually say, put you in a box isn't the vibe. It's not a vibe. We are stronger than that. We have the ability to say, fuck that, I believe in myself. I can do any fucking thing I can put my mind to, anything. If I decide on it, it's happening. You have the power to do that. And if you needed permission from someone, let my permission help you now. I'm giving you permission to do this for yourself. Borrow my belief in you that you can do anything that you set your mind to. You can and you will change your attitudes, your behaviours, your beliefs, because you can be in a growth mindset. You can know that you're enough. You can be flexible. You can be limitless. You can know that your potential has no cap. You can embody that and you can be it. You can be 100% there for yourself. 
and have the unconscious belief that yes, I can do it. I can do fucking anything. I want you to continually grow, to push yourself, to expand yourself, to stretch yourself. I want you to know that the things you can achieve are incredible. And if you have to borrow someone else's belief to get you that step further, then do it. If you need your best friend to tell you, no, you can do it. Absolutely, I believe in you. You're great at this, you're great at that. Let someone boost your ego for a second. If you need to borrow that belief, let them do it. Okay. Let's talk about catching the shift. So it's not all rainbows and unicorns on the journey to shifting your mindset and patterns. It's not, it's hard, it's real. A really important piece of this is to catch a shift from a growth mindset to a fixed mindset. When you're in that growth space of, I can do this, I can be this, and that little knockback automatically shifts you to, oh, rejecting it, I don't, I don't feel comfortable anymore, I just wanna go back to knowing that I can't do anything and not pushing myself, that happens. And it happens in different aspects of your life. Some days you can set the world on fire and go, I'm doing it. <laughs> and other days you're just going to take that hit. You're going to take the ego hit. You're going to take the mindset hit and you're going to automatically, it's human nature to just revert back to what you're comfortable with. And if fixed mindset is what you're comfortable in, you're going to revert back to that. And it's easy to do until you've mastered staying in a growth mindset. It's easy to do. And even me teaching on this right now, me coaching you on this right now, I can fall back into a fixed mindset so easily. But it's about catching the shift, noticing when you're automatically falling back into a fixed mindset, into the comfortability, and being able to say, mm, no, I'm not going there. So when the, you feel the shift from, I'm not enough, I can't do it, I can't be seen, I can't be heard, I'm not X, Y, Z, immediately tell yourself the opposite. Catch it. Oh, I can't go to the gym today. I'm not strong enough. I can't lift that today. Immediately catch yourself and go, actually, I am strong enough. Maybe there's a difference between I can't do it and I don't want to. Maybe you just don't want to go to the gym that day and you have to prioritize if that's not good for you to do that that day. We don't do it. If it is good for you to do that, then you've got to catch yourself and go, no, actually, I am strong enough. I can do it. There's no reason why I can't. But stop the bullshit and go. Do the thing. You have to instill the belief in yourself that you can and you will, because no one else is going to. People might lend you their belief and say it once in a while, but no one is there in your brain consistently going, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. You're enough, you can do this, you're worthy. No one's going to be there to do that except you. So be that person for yourself. It's so, so important that you keep consistently instilling that belief that you can and you will. You have the capacity, you can do it. And if you can't yet, that's a different question, yet. And you will, you will find a way, see what it takes set out an action plan if it's something that's not in your capacity right now how do I get there because I will do it gotta catch the shift so that is it for what I wanted to specifically teach on um I definitely think I'll be running this masterclass again because it's just so important and there's so many more examples I have that I can teach on and that I can build on with this with you so I'm thinking maybe a progression masterclass part two to mindset less of an intro into sort of seeing what it is and more into integrating your growth mindset but yeah for right now my next steps are opening a facebook group community community so i want to make that for like-minded women that want to connect and share their stories share their wins share their obstacles and i don't want to call them failures because at the end of the day it's just an obstacle to your path it's just an obstacle to your success so yeah, community, community time. I'm so excited. So yeah, send me a DM um, and I can add you into that. 
I just want it to be a wholesome, lovely, warm place that you feel safe to just share whatever it is you need to share and progress and move forward and grow. And oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. Um, yeah. Any questions? Let me know in the comments. Um, you can send me a DM if it's something very specific to this masterclass or if you want to get to know how to work with me. Otherwise, yeah, let me know. So yeah, any questions? Okay, not right now. But I will be in and out of the Facebook group community. So when you're in there, you can post some questions and I'll see what I can respond to. Um, but I'm so excited that you have gone through this part with me. Um, yeah, thank you for being here. Love, love, love your energy. And I can't wait to see where you progress from here. So yeah, I will stop sharing now. And I will see you on the other side. <laughs> okay, bye guys.